Hello, welcome to our second Valentine card. This one is You Make Me Sore Valentine card. We're gonna learn some really fun techniques with this one. And you have a couple of options with this. You can uh, do this on a folded piece of watercolor paper. It fits really well if you wanted to do a card. Or you can kind of do a postcard style. This is what I'm doing today where you could either frame that or just write something on the back of it. So I have outlined this. Um, I'm going to just go over it with a with an eraser just really quickly to make sure that my lines are nice and light. You don't want them to be too light that you don't know what you're going to be painting, but you want them light enough that the pencil's not going to be distracting uh, because once you put paint over the pencil, you won't be able to erase it after that. So just something to think about. So I'm just going over it with my regular eraser. Another great option is uh, a kneaded eraser, which I used to have in here, but I think my kids must have found it. So this is my my second choice here is to just go over it with this, this eraser. I'm gonna keep all of this pretty dark because I'm planning on going over a lot of it with pen. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go over my, my balloons with the pen because I feel like they're gonna make a really cool effect. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is um, we're gonna start on the balloons. So we're gonna do a technique that's called glazing. I like to call it glazing or layering. Um, it's basically where you're putting down paint letting it dry and then doing another layer on top of it and it creates a really cool effect. So let's go over the colors we're gonna use. So we'll do Alizarian Crimson, but we're gonna do it really lightly. So it's gonna be almost a pink. And then we're going to do, for her hair, we'll do the um, Burnt Sienna. She's gonna have brown hair. And we're gonna mix that with our Burnt Umber. Give her a nice brown color, brown hair color. And we'll use the Burnt Sienna for her skin tone as well, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing, like I said before, is we're gonna work on these awesome balloons. And they're going to, they're gonna be on top of each other, and so we're gonna layer them in different ways. So the first ones I'm gonna work on are the ones that are kind of towards the back. So that's this guy back here. I'm just using my medium sized uh, round brush. It's a number six and I love round brushes and we talk a lot about them in watercolor school. Um, I love them because they have a small tip that you can use for lots of fine lines, but then they also have a nice a fat belly here that holds a lot of paint. Um, and you can do nice thick lines as well. So they're very versatile, very nice, easy to use brushes. Okay, so that's my first layer of balloon here. Okay, and then we're gonna come in. I'm gonna let that one dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Just following those lines. This is a really good uh, project to help you with your brush control. You'll learn how to do that with some of these little areas. Okay, so now this one feels like it's pretty dry, so we're gonna go over this one. We're gonna start here. You want to make sure that this is completely dry and the way that you know that is touch it with your finger. It's not going it's not moving around and it's not on your finger. Okay, and see we're just glazing. We're just going over what was already there. And it just gives us a darker version of that color. And it's almost like a tissue paper effect. It's so pretty. Let that dry. 
I'm going to do the same thing over here. So follow those lines and we'll be doing it over two other balloons here. We do a lot of projects that involve the glazing effect in watercolor school. It's a really fun technique to know and to play with. It's really beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's see, is this dry? Yep, that one's dry. So let's go ahead and do this one. Sure that's dry. Just using the tip of my brush to get those lines. There's that balloon. Let's see if this is dry. That one isn't dry yet, so we're gonna wait for that. While we're waiting for this one, let's go down and do her dress. I want her dress to be red. Kind of a pinky red. And her shoes are gonna be red. And her little stripes on her arm. So this this will help you um, use the very tip of your brush. Very good practice for brush control. And don't worry if it's not perfect; it'll still look great. Okay, let's check in up here. Oh, that's nice and dry, so we'll do that last balloon. Let that dry. Okay, we're going to do her face. So I'm going to use a little bit of our burnt sienna, which is our light brown, and I'm just coloring in her face, which it looks kind of orange and scary at first. I'm going to do her, her fingers, her hands. And I'm going to keep her legs white because I want her to have tights. And then I'm going to just take my brush. This is my thirsty brush. We talked about that in the other tutorial. A thirsty brush is basically a clean, dry brush that can come in and just lift paint for you. It's thirsty. It wants to drink some of that paint. And so you just use it. You just keep tapping your... So you want to make sure that it's dry so that it can suck up whatever you need it to suck up, either water or paint. There you go. Now her face got a little bit of that red from her outfit, so I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. There. I'm going to give her some little cheeks. Just a little dab of red. And then we're going to do her hair, which we're going to mix our burnt sienna with our burnt umber. Of 
course, you can make her hair whatever color you want. I have a little bit of extra water paint mixture more than I want, so I'm just going to come in with my thirsty brush and do what we did before. Suck some of that up. No reason to panic if it's getting into her face. You just take your thirsty brush and move it around and get it to where you want it. There. All right. The last step is to just go over it with your black marker or pen. You wanna make sure that this is waterproof. And we'll do the lines going up to the balloons. And you can leave it like that, or if you want to outline your girl, like I'm going to here. Brings it out all the details a little bit more, which is fun. Do her white tights and her shoes. There, and I think I'm going to leave those balloons the way they are. Just, I think it's such a pretty effect. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I'd love to see how yours turned out. So please share it with me. You can share it with me on Instagram. Um, and if you're in our Facebook group, if you're part of Watercolor School or Nature's Art Club, please share it with us in there. And if you're not yet, you can join. And there's 140 more projects for you to do. So hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you there. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.